checking in so um i came to langollen with my family and the dogs here's mabel Ooh, so cute. that's in wales if you're not familiar with it geographically and we just came for the weekend go on sit down go on you sit down today's monday so we came for like a long weekend because we came on saturday and we're going back tomorrow and um, we've just been staying in this like cottage as you can see by my surroundings these aren't my usual surroundings and we're staying in this cottage and it's kind of like a bit of a quirky old house but you know it suits it and yeah i've just been reading and walking the dogs absorbing nature i'll show you the view in a moment but first i'll show you what i've been reading because I brought, brought two books with me. Actually, I went to the spa today, forgot to mention. It was a gift for Christmas and we went and I had a facial. So if you think I'm looking a bit more glowy than usual, it's because she had a facial. And then I was just like in the facilities, in the sauna and the steam room. So yeah, that's that. And I'll show you what I've been reading. I brought with me The Vulnerables by Sigrid Nunes. And this was gifted to me by Virago. Thanks very much, Virago. I'm not familiar with Sigrid Nunes's work prior to this, but I'm absolutely... I've got literally like... 30 pages left and I really like her writing. It's kind of like a stream of consciousness and she's talking about during the pandemic and the fear and the, the limbo and the pause we all felt in life at that moment and she's just talking about her day-to-day -day activities and trying to stay safe in this weird time but also she's reflecting back on her life and it's like a weird mixture of a book because it feels a bit like it's a memoir but it also feels like is it fiction? I think it's fiction, but at times she, it feels like she's writing about herself. And I think it's like a weird mixture of genres, but I'm, I'm really into the writing. It's been quick to get through and I just really gel with the writing. So I'm definitely going to read more of hers because apparently the National Book Award winning author of The Friend and I am going to read that book. So I'm going to get that next. Maybe I'll get it from the library. And then I also brought with me another book because I knew I wasn't going to get through more than a few books. I'm only here for a few days. So I brought The Forgotten Girls, an American story by Monica Potts. God, 
you're trying to be in the centre, aren't you? And this is another gifted book that I got from, let me check. Alan Lane and this got gifted to me last year and I wasn't familiar with it prior to then but one of the girls I follow on Bookstagram was reading it and I asked her how it was and she said it was really good and she highly recommended me reading it so I brought that with me because I'm more leaning into the less planned out and more mood reader and obviously I'm trying to get through my TBR and not buy as many new books so if you're not familiar with this it's it's set in like a working class area in the Ozarks and about a group of friends who bond over wanting to escape the broken town and then years later it focuses on, on the characters when they're older and obviously I don't want to read too much because I like being surprised and I, if you're not new to the channel you know I don't like to you know know too much and ruin the book so yeah these were what I brought with me and I'll let you know how they are and if you're watching this then obviously I created a vlog because <laughs> you're watching it so for now me and Mabel will say bye bye I'm off to try and finish my book <laughs> go out but before then even though i'm running a bit late i received a package and i thought i'd share what i've got so this is the package interesting it's from penguin roundhouse but in america they asked if they could send me something now how do i open it oh sellotape Homes have histories and it is Northwoods by Daniel Mason. I've seen some people on Bookstagram reading this and it's a little bit more unknown, I think. I've never read any of his before, but when I read the synopsis I thought it sounds great. A sweeping novel about a solitary house in the woods of New England, told through the lives of those who inhabit it across the centuries, a daring moving tale of fate and memory. I also got gifted a calendar. Thanks Penguin Round Random House. So this is the calendar, which is the same as the book. And it's got the little different things from the book. This is good, so I can you know, see what day it is. Let's put it to January, shall we? And that's February, love. January. So yeah, I'm excited to read this all the way from America. Usually I don't get gifted books from publishers in America, but I think maybe uh, not as many UK book lovers know about this book. So when I read it, I'll let you know what I think. But I do love the cover. 
yeah, I better get going because she's running late. Using my West Kirby box tote bag. She's seven. Of course. <laughs> Because I'm running late, as usual, since I've become a driver, I've never seemed to be able to manage my time well, but I wasn't able to get a coffee. First world problems, but I'm going to see mean girls, so I'll let you know what it's like when I get out. Bye! <laughs> Mean Girls is a no from me. It just can't top the original and it just made me want to watch the original and it just kind of feels awkward. I think it would work on Broadway, a live like theatre show, but I don't think it works as film because it's just, it's not topping the original, is it? So, so I just thought I'd show you what I picked up when I went into Waterstones. Now, I know that I said I'm on a spend and ban. Let me just explain. I'm not necessarily on a spend and ban, but one of my goals was to not buy as many new books, buy second hand or read from my shelves. But I had 10 pounds on me Waterstones card and they also happened to have a sale. So, you know, I was in there and I thought, let me just see what they've got. So the first thing I spotted was Elena Ferrante's The Story of, of a New Name. And I believe this is book two in the Neapolitan Quartet. I haven't read the first one, which is My Brilliant Friend. It's, it's up on the shelf there, but that's the first one. And I've read one of her books before, which is The Lost Daughter. And I really liked that, I like her writing. And I know there's lots of people on Boxagram that love her, but they had a sale on and I had 10 pounds on the card. So this was five pounds because it's got like a little bit of if you can see it's got like a little bit of sticker residue on but you know the pages are all intact it's fine so that was five pounds which left me with five pounds left to spend but then i seen two books one was half price and another one was five pounds so i got intimacies by katie kitamura five pounds again in the sale and i don't really know much about this but i read it and it sounds very up my street and it's also something that's in the culture at the moment it says an interpreter has come to the hague to escape new york and work at the international court and what's going on at The Hague right now? I hope I'm pronouncing that right. The Hague. It's The Hague, isn't it? No, whatever. Because of what's happening currently with South Africa and Israel, I thought, this sounds right up my street. Five pounds. So then I'm like, Rachel, you've you've spent your ten pounds now. But then there was another book that I seen that was half price um and hang on the, the reason i think this was reduced was because there's like a little dent in the page the pages are fine and so it was supposed to be 9.99 but it was 
will have been half of that. I've seen quite a lot of people reading this and I was like, mm, I don't know if I'll, I'll, I'll enjoy it. But to be quite honest, I didn't really read past the first blurb, but then I read further down and it sounds very interesting. It's set in a residential building in Indiana and it talks about each of the different characters' perspectives and there's different strange characters there. And it focuses mostly on the 18 year old Blandine. I think that's how you pronounce it, or Blandine, recently released from foster care and determined to stop the developers what, at whatever cost. And that just stood out to me. Sorry if the camera angle changed. My phone ran out of battery, uh, not battery, storage. Now it's saying it's got low battery. Yeah, whatever, we don't care. If you didn't already know, I film my videos on my phone, my iPhone, because she's not forking out to buy new products. So yeah, that was the other book, The Rabbit Hutch by Tess Gunty. And there's themes in this that are quite personal to me so that's why I decided to buy it. I got these three books for £15 so really I only spent £5 because I got two for free with my £10 credit. So today I basically got four books because I got those and then I was gifted Northwoods which I showed you this morning. This is basically my little mini book haul from today and I only spent five pounds and I don't know if I already showed you but I'm currently reading The Forgotten Girls by Monica Potts which I actually also seen in the sale and it was signed by the author but I've already got it and this is a memoir type thing I think but the author of Dope Sick which if you follow me over on Instagram I mentioned in one of my What This Week posts that I've been watching a lot of documentaries on the opioid crisis in America and I watched Dope Sick and then I watched Crime of the Century, the documentary, but the author of Dope Sick said Monica Potts took a gutsy, open-hearted journey home and turned it into art because I think it's kind of from a perspective of a journalist who lived there and then she went home and I think I already mentioned this but it's given uh, rural America and how it's been left and underfunded and become impoverished and there's a lot of suffering and poverty there so yeah that's my current read. I've literally read 10 pages. I thought I'd end the vlog here and I'd share with you what I bought. So I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed coming along with me and I just feel the need to remind everyone that, you know, vlogs are high points in my day and probably everyone else's day. So you're not really getting, you know, the realities of daily living. So I hope you remember when you're watching that any of my vlogs, they're like high moments in my day and, you know, not everything's perfect. So <laughs> I just want to be transparent with you. Yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video and maybe another vlog soon. So subscribe if you haven't. Go on, you know you want to. Bye.